all right, I get it. You know what? Uh, I get it. Um, I, I understand everything now. And as a Christian, do we have to follow the law of Moses? Just curious. No, you follow the New Testament. So whatever the New Testament tells you to do, you do. So if the New so, Testament, so tells the New you, Testament is like the new law. The yes. New ah. Word of God. Say it not new word of God. God's word <clears throat> is applicable for the purpose it's revealed. So God had a word for Israel, and it applied for them. Now Jesus comes, and he's got a new covenant. So you said new law. It's a new covenant. And, and it's for everybody. He's saying yes. everybody can become a, 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 ch a ch child of God. Through faith in Jesus. So now, what I would have you do, with an open heart, start reading Matthew, and read all the way through. Just read it. Not to be a Christian. That's between you and God. Whatever you want to be, that's between you and God. You answer to God, not to me. But now start reading with an open heart, saying, God, guide me. I know you're real. I'm going to start reading the Gospels. Start with Matthew and work your way all the way to the end. And any questions you have, write them down, and I'll try to serve you. But, you know, start reading now. Just read the Gospels with an open heart. No no more obstacles. Just read it like I read the Quran. Read it. No, I, uh, I, you know what? I don't have any more doubts anymore. Those were my only doubts. But now now I know that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And wow. You know what again? Who is he? He's my Lord and Savior. He's my God. He died on the crucifix for my sins. He came back on the third day, and he is and he is now one with the Father. Hallelujah. Always been one and will always be one, right? Yes. So Romans 10, 9 says that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. So I just want to say, because you said it, and I didn't make you say it, right? I didn't force you to say it. I have been saved. Yeah, I didn't make you say Jesus is Lord. I didn't make you say what you just said. Did I force you to say any of this? No, you didn't even mention it to me. Oh, good. So it's from your own heart, your own will, right? Yeah. So here's what I want you to do, because now you have witnesses, because the Bible says you have to say it verbally in front of witnesses. Without them having to know who your name is, just your voice is good enough. So uh, this is what I want you to say. Say, I confess Jesus is Lord. I confess that Jesus is Lord. And then you, I want you to say, and I believe in my heart, God raised him from the dead. All right. I believe that Jesus is Lord, and I confess with my heart that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. And my life belongs to Jesus, my Lord. And my life, uh, and my life belongs to Jesus, my Lord, my God, and my Savior. Amen. That's it. Now, read the Bible. Start praying. Go on Discord. you got brothers and sisters on Discord. We'll help you grow. And then in time, when COVID is over, ask the Lord to help you find a solid church. Right now, you need to just walk in obedience to Jesus. I will. All right? And All I'll right. be here Thank for you. you anytime you have questions. I just hope you don't mind that I like to joke around a little bit and, you know. I love All right. it. We love you. Thank you. And Jesus love loves you, you more. And God preserve you.